No praises to you. How about Hashem Yahawashai? By Hashem HaKadosh? Or Rucha HaKadosh? Yahweh's name, the Heavenly Father. It means he is. Yahawashai's name of his son. It means he is. He says, often mistakenly or ignorantly called Jesus. Rucha HaKadosh is the name of the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. Birth pangs. I think I released a video the other couple of days ago, but my setup wasn't right, so um my it wasn't recording my voice properly it was just recording something else anyway let's check out what are the birth pangs isaiah 13 and 8 and they shall be afraid isaiah 13 and 8 and they shall be afraid pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them and they shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth they shall be amazed one at another their faces shall be as flames and that's quite interesting whose faces are as flames whose faces go red um this is talks about the end jeremiah 22 and 23 um O inhabitant of lebanon that makest thy nest in the cedars how gracious thou shalt thou be when pangs come upon thee the pain that's of a woman in travail what is a travail what travail in french is labor right so travail is work or birth Birth pains. So what with what the um Jeremiah forty eight and forty one Kirath is taken and the strongholds are surprised and the mighty men's hearts in Moab at that day shall be the heart of a woman in her pangs. Again, uh Jeremiah forty nine twenty two Behold he shall come up at, and fly as the eagle and spread the wings over Bosra, and at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Eden be as the heart of the woman in her pangs. So what are these pangs? These pangs are birth pains. And the bad news, and I don't know if there's any good news. Well, there is the good news. But the bad news is that, although recently it's been feeling like things have been returning slowly back to normal, that has just been uh, um, akin to the respite period, the small respite periods um, during contractions. You know, it's it's said in the Bible that you know that um that Jacob's trouble shall be like a you know that like a woman in in her the the pains and the and the tribulations that are gonna come upon the earth shall be have a quickening as a woman in her travail, you know, as a woman in labour. So we are to, to watch and pray and know that these things are going to be coming with increased frequency and an increased intensity. And this recent period of normalcy that we had glimpsed, even though we had the background of uh, the uh, Russia-Ukraine war and the cost of living crisis, you know, the COVID that kind of eased up and people were, you know, getting back to doing their normal activities that it was just a respite period and we're going in <clears throat> and now with the um the escalation of russia um annexing certain areas that were formerly the ukraine and the cost of living crisis the crash of the, the british pound and hurricane ian we can see that we're into the next series of contractions some more some more birth pains some more tribulations some more trials and it's going to carry on coming and it's going to come with increased intensity and there's going to be less respite between each pang each tribulation each woe so we're to watch and pray Shalom.